I have the privilege of talking to you this morning here for about 30 minutes about the product. Um, what I've noticed as a small business trainer, well, as, as a trainer regardless, whether it's group, whether small business CDLP, one of the things that I'm finding is the associates do not take time that they should, take the time they should to understand the product. Our services, our products are actually the hero of this company. That's what obviously is allowing us to help people. That's obviously what's allowing us to, to, to have a, a great business opportunity. So you need to understand these products because, think about this, the knowledge will give you confidence in what you're doing. Does that make sense to you? And, and so before I get into the product though, I do want to remind you that not all of our products are sold in all the states. So always make sure when you're marketing your product to take a look at the states at a glance, okay? Because what we sell here in Georgia is not the same thing that we sell in Florida, especially when it comes to the small business plan. So just always be aware of that. Now think about this. We have, I don't know, Nick, what do you think? About 54,000 small business plans on the books? 54,000, I mean, that's nothing. There's 54,000 businesses, more than 54,000 businesses in this city alone. And, and so, we, and we have no competition in the small business world. You know, we, in, in group business, we tend to run in, in, in the larger groups, we tend to run into other competitors, if you will. Um, but in the small business division, we don't. The closest competitor that we have charges about three, four, five hundred $500 an hour. Make sense? But see, why are, they, why are those attorneys having success? Why are they still being able to charge that kind of money? It's because they know their product, meaning they know the law. And, and so we have to understand our product so we can compete with them, right, when it comes to helping our, our clients. Um, so first thing is, read the contract. How many of you have actually read the membership contract for the plans? that you market, not just the plan you own, but the plans that you market. That's imperative, you have to read the contract, and especially in the small business plans, because not only do you know, need to know what the product will do, more importantly, you need to know what the product may not do. Right. And if, if you're reading the contracts and you start understanding that some of these things may not make sense to you, that means then you don't really know the product. And you can start calling into customer service or you can start calling over to Go Small Biz and saying, what does this mean? How should I be able to describe this? Because we never want to oversell our product. It's the worst thing that we could do, okay? It's wonderful the way that it is now, correct? Would you agree with me? Yeah. Especially for the cost. Like Dave Savola said, he said, we have the only product that is marked down, not marked up. But if we're overselling it, it doesn't matter what we charge. Right? You all follow me with that? Okay. Um, I also want you to understand, think about this, read the contract so you know the product. If you have the opportunity to own one of our business plans, associates, own the business plan and use the product. The more you use it, the more familiar you are with it, the more passion you start creating about it, the easier it will be for you to translate when you're having a conversation with somebody. Would you all agree with me on that? Yep. And I like in my state in Texas, we actually, you know, we encourage all of our associates, very highly encourage all of our associates to have a minimal, the home-based business rider. Because that, that, that's a necessity. I know for a fact because I've been audited. And not having a Schedule C protection, right, in, in my family plan, I would have been out there. So you have to understand, as a business owner, if, if we're going to say, if I was going to say to Tracy Broughton, Tracy, as a home-based business owner, you should purchase this product, and she turned around and said to me, well, Melissa, you're a home-based business owner in Legal Shield, right? And I said, yes. And she says, well, how's the product work for you? And I say, I don't own it. Right. It's good enough for me to sell it to you, but not good enough for me to own it, right? right. Y'all follow me there? Okay. And more importantly, I want you to write this down. You must know how to qualify your prospect. You have to know how to qualify them. We're going to talk about that here in a few minutes as well. The other thing is when you're presenting, and tomorrow I'm going to do value-based selling, and I love doing value-based selling because it really makes people's eyes open up. Um, but you need to learn how to overcome objections 
during your presentation. Now, I know Mr. Mink's going to get up here and do um, some, some training too, and I'm sure he'll talk about that. But you need to learn how to overcome objections during your presentation. Okay? When you all signed in, did you all get a form that looks like this? Take that out for me because we're going to use it. This is actually the before and after chart, and this is actually a plan comparison sheet. Okay. Now this can be found on um, LegalShieldBizPlan.com, correct? So that you can go there and you can download this. This is a new plan comparison sheet, so you're going to want to make sure you get the new one if you're going to utilize it because um, Will did a great job of putting this one together for us. It looks, it looks fabulous, and we're going to talk about that here in a few minutes. Now we know that we have three different business plans that we can market. We have the Business Owners Legal Solution Plan, we have the home-based business plan, and we have the legal plan for the self-employed. Remember, though, not all states do we have all three plans. But those are the three plans as a small business certified associate you have an opportunity to market. You need to understand how these plans work and how to qualify your prospect. Remember, having the confidence, okay, having the, the knowledge will give you the confidence to be able to have an intelligent conversation with this business owner. So we're going to actually talk about, about these products, um, but also understand that in all three products, there's two companies that we're representing, Legal Shield and Go Small Biz. You know, in the family plan, we have an opportunity to actually market prepaid legal and Kroll. We can do one or the other or both. And these plans, both companies are already married, right? They're already married. This right here, I'm a visual person. This right here really sets up for me my conversation with the business owner before I get into my product. Think about this. This right here at the top, the business without our business plan, okay? That is a traditional size business, something that you may walk in and you see the utility room, storage room, the service room, you know, manager's office, maybe they have a small conference room. But let me ask you a question, family. When we're talking to a business owner, if this was his size facility, what is one of the biggest factors or concerns about this physical building, this physical location where he houses his business? Does anyone have an idea of what one of his concerns are? His lease. His lease. His, absolutely his lease. Square footage, commercial real estate is expensive. And if a business owner himself had to actually hire, train, and staff a team of professionals to protect and grow his business, think about this. If that business owner had to hire, train, and staff a team of professionals to protect and grow his business, which he knows he has to have, the first thing is, would he have to expand the square footage of his facility? Yes. Which could be costly, yes. right? Fixed overhead, he, he can't afford that. But think about this, this visual alone, just with what I said, could sell this product before you even open up your mouth. If I was talking to Mr. English and I said, as a business owner, Mr. English, would you agree with me that you need to have a team of professionals help protect and grow your business? Absolutely. Well, let me share with you a way Without you having to hire, train, and staff a team of professionals, without you having to expand the square footage of your facility, let me share away with you how we're going to help protect and grow your business. And this is what your business is going to look like. Does that make sense? This is a great visual. I'm, I'm not sure whoever put this together years ago, but if you're not using this, you should be using this. 